Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Fly Super Lace Lightning Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here. Today I'm doing a review on the Fly Super Lace Lightning Edition Boxing Gloves. I got mine in this beautiful red, gold, and white colorway. 12 ounces in lace-up. You can also get these in Velcro anywhere between 10 to 20 ounces and they have an additional colorway which is called aqua and white it's basically a, a teal and a white it looks amazing As a matter of fact i had a really hard time um, choosing between the two colors uh, when i purchased these gloves because of how good the aqua looks and i don't think i have a pair of gloves in that color but naturally i'm a big niners fan so i ended up going with the red and gold and these look super sharp as well and did not disappoint the gloves are made of full 100% genuine Scottish leather, and these are handmade in the UK. Now, it's been a couple of years since I've done a review on the Fly Premium line of gloves. Um, the last time I did a review on Fly equipment was their X-Line headgear, as well as their X-Line gloves, which are the synthetic leather gloves, and I believe there's, those are made in China, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the last time I did a review on the Fly uh, Premium gloves was a couple years ago on a Velcro version, the Super Loops, and then I did a, um, a review on the lace-up versions prior to that which were like a dark navy blue and white and um, that was really the last time so it's been a couple of years um, I really wanted to get these gloves just because of that it's been a while since I've done a review um, on the fly premium gloves and when they came out with the lightning bolt design I thought that looked really clean as well so both from a colorway perspective that lightning bolt design um, and just the fact that I haven't had a review on these in a while uh, Plus Fly had ran out for a while, so they make, make, they make these gloves essentially to order. Um, I decided just to go ahead and pull the trigger and pick up these gloves and see how they are. Um, you know, my big, I guess from previous gloves, I think my biggest complaint from uh, previous iteration was the, the thumb being a little shallow for myself, where the tip of my thumb would jam, and I wanted really to see if they corrected that or made any, I guess, alterations to the thumb. Uh, and that kind of favored the way my hand shape was. Now, everyone's different, so some people may not have experienced that, and some people may have. So that was kind of the big takeaway from that. Now, from a design standpoint, um, I think Fly makes probably one of the best looking gloves out there. Not only just the, the size of the glove, the aesthetics, I think they do a really great job as far as the logo goes. I mean, uh, you know, Grant is another company I feel like that has done a really great job of branding themselves with their logos. Very identifiable, it stands out. And when you see it, you know it's Grant. And the same thing with Fly. When you see that logo, you know it's a Fly brand. Obviously, other than the fact that it's it's spelled out for you, but just even that winged person or that angel, it looks really good. It's simplistic. <clears throat> and you don't have a bunch of like logos and different prints, you know, kind of sprayed all over the glove. They keep it really simple and clean, and I like that a lot. So uh, that looks really good. You do have the Scottish hide or the Scottish leather they use on here. The one thing I really like about Fly's leather is that it feels very proprietary. And by that I mean, um, it's not leather that you, you would see in a, in a Pakistan made glove or even a glove that's made in Mexico. that has kind of their own style of leather that they use. You know, I've, I've mentioned this in past premium Fly brand videos where the, the leather on here kind of reminds me of like a high-end, like Italian handbag, you know, um, and it has that texture and feel to it. It has more of a satin finish to it. it does, it's not full on matte. It has a very satin finish, but it feels very expensive, if, if that makes sense. And I definitely love uh, the feel of, and the texture of the leather, how supple it is. And it even has this kind of its, its own smell to it. It has its own odor to the glove. I know a lot of you guys do that as well, where you guys smell your gloves to see what they smell like. But it definitely, definitely has a different smell to it compared to like the Mexican, Mexican gloves. It has a very strong leather smell. And then they put like the water repellent uh, finish on it. With these gloves, it has its own smell to it as well. So I definitely love the fact that they have that. Um, you do have that gold, which is metallic. So depending on kind of how you turn the glove, you have that different uh, shine to it. Um, coming down to the back of the wrist is one thing that they changed with this glove compared to the other premium gloves is that just the back portion, you do have this patent uh, leather or patent material that goes over the leather. So you do have the white leather that's underneath it. Then you have this pl plastic patent material that goes over it with the cross X stitching that fly originated. Uh, and then you also have the stitching up here and it also has kind of a monogram look to it. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that it has kind of like this ghost white uh, logo here where it says fly. And then you have their logo that's printed into 
that actual uh, patent material, which I think looks super nice as well. Uh, very well done. And there's no sharp edges either. There's no, there's no like plastic that's sticking out that's sharp that can end up injuring yourself or even your sparring partner if you decide to use these gloves for sparring. So everything on the back of that wrist feels very smooth. Coming down here, you do have that gold piping that goes around that's also gonna be on the palm side. Uh, the 12 ounce weight tag that designates the size of the glove. And you have a standard polyester nylon liner on the inside. I'd say you have maybe about an inch of medium to soft density foam on the back of the wrist. And on the inside of the wrist, I'd say you have about half an inch of medium density foam that runs up to right about here. On this glove, you can see where it kind of comes to a point. And on this side, it has that rectangular shape, very common in most gloves that you see. You do have nice, long, flat, round laces with these gloves. And you do have plastic tips at the end. The length of the laces are perfect, so you can get several turns around the glove with the laces, a couple of revolutions to really tighten down. You can actually see where I kind of tighten mine down because it has a little bit of a, a kind of a push down right there. You do have the gold piping on here. The gold I would describe is more of a, like a deeper gold color. Um, it's not like a very bright yellow gold. It's more of a deeper, kind of like a bronze gold, if that makes sense. So I definitely like the way it looks and it has a little bit more of, of a deeper classic gold look to it. It's not so in your face like a super bright gold foil color. Uh, which I definitely prefer. And then you have that, that lightning design. So basically the two areas where it's different compared to their standard premium gloves is gonna be how they split the leather. So you have the gold right up here and then it has that kind of that la lightning, uh, lightning bolt design that separates the leather on both sides. And then you also have that lightning bolt design which comes up on the thumb. Again, you just have that kind of that jagged lightning. And uh, you know, that that's gonna, have, you know, obviously that's gonna, you know, uh, add more workmanship to the glove because now you're basically having to cut the leather and making sure that the leather matches up both the white and the gold. So you have that and to get that all lined up perfectly, I'm sure it takes a little bit of extra time compared to their standard gloves to get that, that stitching to match. So you have that on that side as well as on the palm side. Um, the grip bar on here is a little bit on the small side. It's a little bit more pointy rather than rounded. I wish it was a, lot, a little bit larger that we have something a little bit more pronounced uh, to grip onto you also have a leather attached thumb at the very tip and top of the thumb right there so that looks really good and then the foam on here just like previous models is multi-layer foam patent and it has a medium to soft consistency to it and i definitely like the way that this foam uh, performs especially for uh, everything really in the gym for sparring you use this for the heavy bag use this for double end bag hitting the mitts it's a very versatile glove in terms of uh, the foam and you also notice just the, the punch surface you know, I mentioned this in the unboxing video and it's pretty much retained its shape, but you can tell that they put an emphasis kind of like more well, not a flat, flat punching surface. So basically the way the glove comes, it kind of has a st steep drop off. It's almost like the opposite of a, a molded foam glove where it's very rounded on the punch surface. And I hate that with this glove, it kind of has a little bit more of a steeper kind of drop off where the knuckle is at. So you, f you really can feel that your knuckles are landing right here on this flat punch surface. And I, me personally, I really, I really uh, prefer that. And you also notice that, you know, that's the first thing to make contact, you know, like a lot of gloves are kind of tapered. So you're really landing right there on those two front knuckles. So I definitely prefer that as well. Uh, the quality wise, there's every, everything about this glove is perfect except one big thing. And that's going to be the weight. Um, when I put these gloves on the scale, I purchased these as 12 ounce gloves. Um, which indicates on the tag that they are 12 ounces, but when I put them on the scale there, they came in at 13.7 ounces. Now, the good thing is that both gloves were exactly on point with weight. They were both 13.7. So for the for the sake of being symmetrical, both gloves are exactly the same weight. Now, the problem is they're they're almost two ounces overweight. Now, I do, that doesn't really bother me. I actually feel like I got more for my money because they're giving me a heavier glove than what I paid for, which bring, comes to the fact that Fly used to actually charge you more if you went up in weight. So if, so if you bought a 12 ounce glove and, or a 14 or a 16, depending on which way you go, the higher you go, I think it was like 10 to $15 more for the higher weight. So if you were to look at it from that perspective, then you feel, I feel like I'm getting a better deal, but it's, it's still not what I wanted. I wanted a 12 ounce glove. You know, again, if you're looking at this from a fight glove perspective, I'm, I would assume that those will be on point with weight, but I do have to mention that the gloves are almost two ounces overweight. So they're essentially like a 14 ounce glove, even though they're 12 ounces. 
at least that's what they they advertise these gloves at but everything else about the glove is is optimal i mean the leather is amazing i love the leather on here the design looks great you know everything with the stitching looks excellent the glove is well balanced it's not top heavy so the distribution of foam th throughout the glove is done nicely you can see you know the stitching for the lightning bolt looks really good even on the palm side looks clean laces are good stitching on the palm side looks really good where the index finger meets the thumb is done very well you know i would say that the grip bar needs to be larger I don't know if that's so much a quality issue as it's just something I would prefer to have. Um, you can see the stitching where this is all bunched up, done nicely. No issues with the inside liner, no tears or nothing exposed, no inner foam. You know, the piping underneath the thumb looks really good. At the back where the gold, white, and red meet, all looks really clean right there. Logo looks sharp. You know, outside edge, you're gonna get a little bit of pulling from the leather, that's natural. And you can see that's kind of a nice sharp line right there. But overall, I mean, the quality on these are awesome. Just overweight for, for what they are. Um, so it kind of makes me wonder, I wonder if the 14 ounce gloves are like 16. And then if you get the 16, you're basically like buying gloves that are gonna be 10 ounces heavy, two, 10 ounce, two ounces heavier than what you, you get. So something to keep in mind, if, if, if you guys are watching and, and you guys have the Fly Super Lace Premium Gloves. Make sure you chime in if you guys have any issues with weight or if yours are on point. Maybe it's just mine, I don't know. But again, not a big big deal to me, but something I did have to mention. Uh, comfort wise, sliding your hand into the glove, it's very comfortable. Um, I did not have issues with the thumb this time. I, I feel like they did a really nice job. Both in, in terms of the thumb position, you know, the position of the thumb has always been great with Fly. It's roomy enough, you have a good amount of uh, medium to soft density foam padding on the back of your thumb for support and protection uh, but when i make a fist it doesn't pull down on the tip too much so you can see it kind of holds it down just a little bit but it doesn't like fold the tip over to where you feel like your, your thumb is going to jam and i've mentioned this in other videos i have average size hands i'm not a huge person i'm not super small either i'm just kind of like a normal five foot eight person with average size hands so you know if i was having issues previously with my thumb jamming then I could foresee anybody that's larger than me that has bigger hands would have that same problem. But with these, I had zero issues, uh, especially landing straight, straight on punches where your, your hand kind of shifts a little bit in the glove. Uh, no issues there. Nice deep finger compartment. You know, you can definitely feel that grip bar. I wish it was a little bit larger. And then they also have like a secondary, um, I guess grip bar if you want to call it. It kind of covers the stitching right here and it's very pronounced and they have that liner that covers it. So you, it feels like your fingers kind of like really tuck in and have its own little pocket right here. And you can actually see my fingers kind of wiggle on the inside to really give you that nice, tight, formed fist feeling in the, on the inside of the glove. Uh, palm side feels really comfortable. The wrist support feels really good. You know, for a 12 ounce glove, I would say that these are pretty much on point with sizing, maybe a little bit more on the compact side. So if you're looking for something a little bit more on the compact side, then I definitely say that these would be a good choice for you. Um, one thing I also want to note is that the palm side, you'll notice that this opening right here is a little bit smaller. So if you have kind of just a fatter hand or a thicker hand, this palm section kind of right here might be a little tight and you, you might have to break it in or just go with a larger side, but size, excuse me. But this, this section here could be with your hand wraps on can be a little bit tight. So there might be a little bit of a breaking period just to kind of give you guys a heads up on that. But overall, uh, the comfort is definitely there. No issues with like the liner. The liner feels really good. You don't have any excess liner that's bunching up like on your pinky finger or anywhere or in this region or on the back of your hand. Uh, protection performance, to me, this is right in the middle. It's a very balanced glove and you get a, a great amount of feedback out of it. I love the type of foam they use on here. You can fit, you know, you can really feel your punch is connecting, but you also have full confidence that you're not gonna injure yourself when you're throwing with power and you have good pop and feedback. And again, I love the way the foam is positioned in the glove. You know, you have that really nice flat punch surface to me, which makes a big difference when you're landing um, and throwing your punches. But overall, I'd say right in the middle in terms of protection and performance, like you're gonna get a good amount of feedback um, and it's not gonna be one of those gloves that you have to really worry about injuring yourself that's you know too soft and too broken in, maybe it's horsehair and you feel like uh, you have to kind of take it easy and pull back a little bit on your power. So overall, very well balanced. Cost-wise, 
These gloves are $415 US dollars. Um, the Super Loops, which are the Velcro versions, are a little bit more pricier. I believe they're 10 to $15 more. Um, I think they do that just because it costs a little bit more to add Velcro to it. Um, and one good thing I do like that Fly has changed, which I just mentioned earlier in the video, was that they no longer um, upcharge you for sizing uh, for this glove. So even if you get the 10 ounce glove or you get the 20 ounce glove, they're all gonna be $415. So I love that. I love the fact that they just kept one solid price. You don't have to sit there and you know, you're really, you're already dropping $415. And then you're like, well, those are only for the 10 ounce now. If I want to get the 20 ounce, I got to drop 495. So I mean, you know, it kind of changes the, uh, it changes it a little bit, the dynamic of the purchase, if you want to call it, when when you're stepping up in price based on weight. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to have people second guessing their purchase. Maybe they wanted to go with the 16 ounce glove, but it's a little bit out of the price range now, and then they're going to have to settle for a 10 ounce glove because of the price. You know, so it's good that you just keep it all one price. It makes it simple, and it, and then you know you're customers don't feel like you're nickel and diming them uh, for a little bit of weight. So um, that's just my thoughts on that. But $415, you know, Fly has always been a pricey glove. It's always been expensive, uh, even when they first released. I think obviously, you know, with everything going up in prices and uh, I think the original price with Flies were around like 360 or 380. Um, so in terms of a price increase, it hasn't really gone up that much. Uh, I believe the Lightning versions are a little bit pricier as well because you're paying a little bit for the craftsmanship and with the Lightning design. Um, but, you know, if you have an experience of pair of fly gloves, I definitely recommend it just because there's nothing else out there that's really like these, at least the premium versions. Now, if you get the X-Line, there's several gloves out there I can kind of compare those to, but I always feel like the premium version is way better than the X-Line. Um, and I know Fly says they use the same, you know, shape and, um, foam in the premiums that they do in the X line. But I just feel the premiums feel like a different glove because of the softness of the leather. It just feels like a different glove. And I think that's re really what you want to pay for is the quality that you're getting with the premium version. So I definitely think the glove is amazing. Whether or not it's worth it, it's up to you. You know, that's the same thing that goes for like winning um, or, or grants or any of those high-end gloves. But for those of you that are going to ask, are these just like winnings? No, they're not. These are different than winnings in my opinion. I feel like the foam's a little bit, uh, a little bit more on the softer side. It's not as, it's not as thick as winning. Um, and just even the hand shape of this glove, you know. So I think that's kind of a misconception that these are uh, like, a, a, like a winning like type glove or a Japanese style glove. And these are not. These are their own thing. Um, I think they just get compared to winnings a lot because of the price point and where they're at in terms of, you know, uh, how people view the glove line and the marketing of them. Um, but these are definitely different and I like that. I like the, the way that they feel different from winning and they have they give you a little bit of a different, um, you know, experience when you're using the glove. Even the thumb, I mean, with winning, the thumb is a lot smaller and it has more of like a th thumb-like shape. Where this one, to me, the thumb on these kind of more of like a Mexican style Grant-like style glove. So to me, this has a little bit of different elements on its own. Um, but overall, I'm really satisfied with these outside of the weight being a little bit on the high side. Um, you know, for the price that you're paying for, I think it's worth it. Just something that you would probably want to, depending on what your budget you're looking at, uh, at least one time, try them out, see how you like them and, and then go from there. So if you guys have any questions or comments, as usual, put them down below. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these fly lightning boxing gloves. See you guys later. Take care.